Follow along with us today, guys, as we install some upgraded parts on this 2017 Duramax. throttle valve delete so that's going to replace this restrictive throttle valve we've got a Worley custom fab piping kit on the truck it's also going to allow us to uh, put our rubber coupler directly onto this uh, piece here rather than sliding it over the factory piece which sort of work I mean it works but it's not really designed it's designed for a quick coupler not uh, actual rubber coupler and obviously we got some parts powder coated We've got a Banks turbo inlet that definitely does not match, but that can be matched later. And then this Stealth 64 uh, turbocharger from Calibrated Power. So we're going to go ahead and we got the turbocharger out. We're going to go ahead and transfer over the actuator, the drain lines, and all the other parts and get it back in the truck, flash the tune file, and test drive. Those colors do not work, but that's all right. Fortunately, you can't see much of this red one. Days, man, haters. No, they're there. So the magic in this charger. Obviously, this wheel right here is a little bit bigger. This is a 61 or 62. I can't remember. This is a 64. Or sorry, backwards. This is a 61. This is a 64. The magic, though, is all back here. So it's got an upgraded vein cage, um, which we can put a picture of that on the screen. By the way. And it's got more turbine, so it allows for better EGT control, more airflow, which equals more horsepower. We're not building a drag truck, we're building a towing truck, so we just want yeah. it to run really good. But even so, this one can support about 600, maybe 700. They claim, they can't claim a lot of power, but I haven't seen a Dyno 700, so I don't know. Seriously. That <laughs> thing just blasted it up as it's missing all of its bolts. Do what? As it's missing all of its bolts. It is literally missing all of the bolts vibrated out of this thing. That 
warranty is going to hit different. So I normally would not put gasket maker on this type of gasket, but I think it was boost leaking before, so we're going to do a little overkill here. That o-ring was pretty flat. Maybe that was our boost leak. And if you're wondering, yes, we do have the tools to test for boost leaks, but it's late and I'm too lazy to check right now. So we are just gonna question everything. The issues these L5Ps have with their map sensors. This piece here from S&B is a little adapter that offsets the the T-map uh, from the airflow coming through your emissions equipped Duramaxes coming through the intake, and this helps keep all the the soot and debris from building up in this sensor. So it's a, it's a nice little easy fix for you guys that have L5P trucks. debris in there. Glad we uh glad we checked I almost didn't. So as you guys can see this beautiful wheel billet wheel that the guys over at Calibrated Power uh, they're the ones that have put the R and D into this these turbochargers. Fantastic upgrade for your 2017 to 2023 L5P. All right. Make sure our O-ring stays. It does not. <laughs> we might need that again, Christian. Why didn't it work the first time? Because I should have not I should have put it in without the uh gasket. Without the gasket and the O ring on it. Yep. Well, I don't know yet. I gotta see how this goes.
Out. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you have those those questions that you ask yourself after most of the job is done. I don't doubt you. Alright guys, so now we're going to upload a tune file or a calibration for this Stealth 64 turbocharger. It's going to make this truck actually function with the improved airflow and add the adequate fueling necessary for this turbocharger. So to do this we're going to use HP Tuners software. We already have the tune file pre-made, we're just going to upload it, flash it to the computer, start the truck, and go for the test drive, see how it does. turbocharger install we're just making sure well number one most importantly we don't want anything to leak we don't want there to be any issues but we're also making sure that the calibration and that the turbo are working together properly and that we did actually gain more power this truck is transformed PSI more boost, EGTs are about 200 degrees cooler, and the truck just get up some goes. 